The Crimes Against Election Workers bill is an attempt to address staffing concerns ahead of Election Day. Those who testified in favor of the bill say poll workers are frustrated and fearful as they head into what could be the biggest presidential election in history. These are our neighbors and our friends, and they are dropping out of the process. Senate Bill 170, if passed into law, would make threatening, obstructing, or injuring a poll worker a felony. It's unfortunate that this bill is necessary, but it certainly is. Voting rights groups and county offices in support of the bill say they've seen threats and actions taken against their election workers, something they hope this bill will stop. Not only has it become increasingly and exponentially more difficult for Indiana's clerks to recruit and retain new poll workers, but our current and experienced poll workers are expressing concern for their personal safety and well-being. But there are some exceptions. Under the amended bill, offenses against an election worker that take place in a nursing home don't count. A change met with disdain by some who otherwise supported the bill. I think all election workers, no matter whether it's a temporary or a permanent part of paid staff should be protected. An amendment to the bill also removed the Secretary of State and Election Division employees from receiving those protections. The thought process behind that was we were trying to narrow this down to individuals who are going to be interacting with a voter on Election Day. If signed into law, the bill would go into effect immediately. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson. Now, that bill passed unanimously in committee. It's not known when the full Senate hearing could take place.